Strictly Come Dancing head judge Len Goodman passed away following a bone cancer diagnosis. Len had been staying in a hospice in Tunbridge Wells, Kent, when he died aged 78 on Saturday evening. His agent, Jackie Gill, confirmed the sad news today, writing, It is with great sadness to announce that Len Goodman has passed away peacefully, aged 78. A much-loved husband, father and grandfather who will be sorely missed by family, friends and all who knew him. Tributes have been pouring in for Len amid the news, with Channel 5 news anchor and former Strictly Come Dancing contestant Dan Walker describing the late star as an incredible man and extraordinary talent. Tim Davey, BBC Director General, said, Len Goodman was a wonderful, warm entertainer who was adored by millions. He appealed to all ages and felt like a member of everyone's family. Len was at the very heart of Strictly's success. Len joined Strictly in 2004 and his final appearance was on the 2016 Christmas Day special. Goodman began dancing at 19 winning various competitions including the British Championships in Blackpool in his late 20s, after which he retired. He was replaced as head judge on the BBC show by Shirley Ballas. Goodman also served as head judge on Dancing with the Stars, the US version of the show, for more than 15 years until announcing his retirement in November last year. He said at the time that he wanted to spend more time with my grandchildren and family, back in the UK. In 2019, Len revealed that had skin cancer removed and warned others to take the issue seriously. The Melanoma Fund, a charity which raises awareness about the disease, shared a photo of the dancing with the stars judge pointing to a bandage under his hat. The post read, The ex-BBC Strictly Come Dancing judge was playing a few rounds with our ambassador Paul Way at the Grove, a sun protection accredited club, and revealed he has just had skin cancer removed. He wanted us to use this image to inspire others to take the issue seriously. In 2021, Len spoke about how the cancerous mole was spotted by a friend while he was playing golf, and he got it checked out. He said, I went and they took it out and it's gone. It was a little thing on my forehead. Probably because I play a lot of golf and I don't wear a hat, which I do now. In 2009, Len had surgery to remove a cancerous tumor in his prostate gland, telling his close friends and family, but not the BBC. He explained how he was confined to hospital for four days, and then spent a few weeks recuperating. He urged middle-aged men to get regular checkups, saying, Men, probably more than women, tend to ignore their health. As long as you get checked up every year, then medicine is such now that if you do get something, then hopefully they can catch it early and you have a good chance. I think that's the most important thing. Men of a certain age should have their checkup every year. As we come to the end of this video, I wanted to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you. Your time, attention, and support mean the world to me, and I am truly thankful for your presence here. So, thank you for being a part of this adventure. I look forward to many more shared experiences, discussions, and moments in the future. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that we can stay connected.